All right, hello and top of the morn to all of you. I am the logical one, John Wise, and you are watching The Logic. Um, <laughs> it is early in the morning here for me, uh, although it shouldn't be. Usually I'm up right now working, um, So, but I'm not. I'm tired. <laughs> it is almost 6.30 a.m. here in grand old Decatur, Illinois. So, uh, what am I doing up so early? I am so glad you asked. I just couldn't wait to review the all-new Nintendo Switch game. La! Pick Pokemon! Let's go! Pikachu! 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 Uh, and I also got the one with the Pokeball Plus. <clears throat> so, is it worth the buy? Is it worth the play? Let's find out. Um, no, uh... I'm not as professional as a lot of these YouTube shows. Um, I can't do a um, playthrough while I'm uh, recording, uh, so you all could see. But there's plenty of screen caps and whatnot to view on YouTube and other review sites. So uh, let's go ahead and go over this this box, though. Um, this box is kind of cool. I like the box. So this, I believe, retails for around a hundred dollars. Uh, I think it's like forty for the game. No, it's like sixty for the game, and then forty for the Pokeball Plus. <clears throat> um, and so it says on the side here, what all you get? You get the Pikachu game, you get the Pokeball, and it is just a Pokeball. It is. It's really cool. Uh, this here, the little circle there, is actually the analog stick, which is kind of cool. And then it's got a little hidden. It's very hidden, but there's a button on top uh, that you can play with. That you play with. That you use to control um, the scenarios in the game. And we'll get to that. Uh, something else that's really, really cool about this. You notice on the back here, we have a picture of you. Well, that's because Mew is already inside this Pokeball. So, this is this is pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this. There's a lot of people who are upset because it's not your traditional Pokemon game. I think that's one of the attractions for me, actually. I think I actually that's one of the things I really like. Um, so, uh, here in Pokemon... Oh, here in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, we are back in the Kanto region. Uh, that's right. All we could, this, this game takes you all the way back to Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And Yellow was the first one I ever played. And so I'm very excited to go back to this. And I'm telling you, this is amazing to see like all these 3D characters and see the Kanto region so much brighter, more detailed. Uh, it actually looks like a CG cartoon. Um, unfortunately, there's no voice overacting in this. It's text reading. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. We're used to in a, in a standard Pokemon game. Uh, I mean, it's it starts out, you're in your bedroom. But unlike the um, previous versions, where you're in your room and you have like a Game Boy or a Nintendo system in your room... This time around, it's a Nintendo Switch, which is awesome because this is a Nintendo Switch game. <coughs> so it's a little cute. It's just the little cute details like that throughout the entire game that makes this game um, really unique. I absolutely do love it. Now, I'm not all. I'm not, not far in this game at all. Um, I was pretty much just playing it for a few hours while I did laundry. Um, but from what I've played so far, I'm really loving it. It really takes me back to when I was playing Pokemon Yellow. Um, so, <clears throat> now I haven't used the Joy-Cons. Uh, I've pretty much just used the uh, Pokeball Plus it comes with. And again, uh, this is a deluxe version. Um, I believe it really tells for about $100. Uh, you can buy just the game, and you can use just the Joy-Cons. I see a lot of people probably doing that. This is definitely a novelty thing. Uh, but the cool thing about this is you don't, you can't, you can use this either with the Pokemon Let's Go game, or you can sync it to your phone and use it for Pokemon Go, which is the inspiration for this game. 
Uh, and then it works just like a regular Poke Pokemon Plus uh, device, which is awesome. Which even more awesome is in the game when you catch a Pokemon. Don't judge me. Uh, <laughs> which even cooler is when you do catch a Pokemon in the Pokeball, you uh, it, you can feel it vibrate and shake. And when you catch the Pokemon, you hear the Pokemon inside the ball. It is so cool when it lights up. And it's just, it's really cool. Absolutely love it. Um, so if you're familiar with the original Kanto area, uh, that's where you're at. I mean, I mean, it's the same map. It's the same layout. Um, there are a few differences. Uh, for instance, when you're walking around, especially in the grassy areas, you don't just get random Pokemon battles. And this, I think, is where the two hardcore Pokemon game fans have issues with the game. Um, what happens is Pokemon will pop out and they start hopping or flying or running around. And if you want that Pokemon, you just simply walk up to it and you, you touch it. Then you go to a screen, which if you're familiar with Pokemon Go, that's pretty much the screen you're going to. You're going to have the Pokemon in the middle. You're going to have the little colored circle. Uh, you'll have options on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. Uh, it'll say, get ready. I'm trying to think of all the options. Get ready. There's a option to use your berries, um, run away, a traditional where you can run away in case you accidentally run into a Pokemon you don't want to catch. Uh, you hit the get ready, and then what you do with your Joy-Con or your Pokeball is that you can throw it underhand, which I think is how they show you how to do it. I like to do it like I'm a trainer. I do it over my head, and I'll, you know, do that. And either way works, and you'll have the little circle that shrinks. So you have your nice, great, and excellent ball. Again, if you're familiar with Pokemon Go, it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, you can feed them a berry to make it easier for you to catch them. Uh, there is no battling to weaken them when you ca try to catch them, which I personally like because in the all the other games, there's nothing more frustrating when you're trying to catch that Pokemon, especially a rare Pokemon or one of those one-time Pokemons that pop up and you accidentally cause it to faint. See what, I, see what I'm saying? So this is actually, to me, a big plus. I, I like that option of not <laughs> having to battle it and um, accidentally make it faint. So now um, I haven't come across, to, like Pokemon Go, I haven't come across a Pokemon in the game yet that runs away. So, But I am, am still early in the game. It's still kind of like tutorial mode. I just kind of turned on uh, the hospital and the shop. So, I mean... I'm still early in the game. Um, so, so that's not saying there's no battles. Um, you do have battles. Uh, there are people on the side, and when you make eye contact, basically when you walk in front of them, and a the little explanation point goes, Dink! you're going to go into a battle. And the battles, um, they're not just, they don't just stand there when you do a uh, battle and one shake and a move happens and the other shake and a move happens, you actually see them like, you know, when Pikachu does electric shock, he, he jumps up and you go, Pikachu! And he does, I mean, it's still stationary. There's still, he's got his side, he's got his side. So you still have that, but they, they did a little bit more detail to it. And I think that's kind of neat. Uh, you do have your traditional moves. You do learn new moves. You can forget and learn new moves. They, uh, With each time you catch a Pokemon, each time you battle, your Pokemon level up. You don't level up. Your Pokemon level up, just like in the regular games. Um, instead of going to a um, computer in the shop. <laughs> Sorry, my cat. Um Instead of going into, you know, there's a little computer panel in the uh, hospital usually to switch out Pokemon. You don't need to do that. You simply just have to go to your menu, go to your party, and you can swap out Pokemon uh, in your party with Pokemon in your Pokebox, and you're good to go. So that's really convenient. I actually really enjoyed that. <laughs> um Gym battles. Gym battles this time also is a little different. Again, I think a lot of people had issues with this, but this is this game. This game is pretty much to set up new players. Uh, there's going to be a more traditional Pokemon game coming out next year. It's all we know, but this game is definitely set up um, 
to bring in new players. And this is why I say this. Uh, first off, you're catching 151 uh, Pokemon from the Kanto region. And uh, when you go into a gym battle, the gym, uh, I don't know what they call it, the gym butler, the gym watcher, the guy who's there before you face the other players and face the boss, the gym leader. He stops you and tells you, these are the type of Pokemon you need to face the boss. So, for instance, I fought Brock <clears throat> in, um, I forget what city it is now. It's early, folks. Uh, but before you face Brock, he tells you you need either um, grass or water type Pokemon. And you have to show him at least one of these Pokemon uh, to be able to face Brock. Uh, so for those who's learning and don't know, you know, what type of Pokemon defeats another type of Pokemon, that's, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little learning curve. I actually really enjoy that. Because sometimes I do forget, and I've been watching Pokemon from the, from the start. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I did fight, I did fight, Bro I've defeated I defeated Geodude and Oddish, or Geodude and Onyx with an Oddish. Which is kind of cool. Um, you wouldn't think that would work out too well. But it worked out pretty damn well. Uh, and then I got my badge. Now, uh, they did away with HMs. Uh, they have secret moves. And what's cool about these is um, you can use it anytime. There's no, oh, this HM I have to have on this Pokemon. But now... I can't get another move because I need it on this Pokemon <laughs> uh, to fly or to cut or whatever. They did away with that. So that's kind of cool. You get the move and then you can use it whenever as much as you whenever and as much as you want. Um, they still have TMs. Uh, and I think sometimes some of these TMs you need to get to the other gym battle. Uh, which is, again, easier rather than, you know, having to feed an officer... Go to, go to a vending machine out of nowhere, grab a pop, go to a guard, give the guard a pop so you can get into the city or the gym, and they did away with all of that hassle. Uh, again, I appreciate that. Nintendo, thank you very much. Uh, but it is a very simplistic version, um, and I like that. I do. I like the simplicity, simplicity of it. Uh... Because um, I have my, my, my standard Pokemon games. I love my standard Pokemon games. But sometimes you just want to play a Pokemon game and not have to do a lot of thinking. <laughs> Especially if I, you get up at 6.30 in the morning and decide you want to play. And your brain's not working. You just want to go and catch Pokemon. <laughs> uh I am still tired, folks. I apologize. Um, now, let's talk about the Pokemon Ball Plus. So, this thing has some upsides and some downsides. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the upsides. The upsides is you uh, you can't control. There's a little, a little knob. Um, that, where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Um, knob right there in the middle of the circle. That is your analog stick. You'll see where her finger is on top. There's actually a button right there. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to use that uh, joy joystick uh, to move the character around. He automatically runs. Uh, I'm not sure you can slow him down or not because I know in the Joy-Con he walks and if you tilt the Joy-Con he runs. So I don't know how that works. It doesn't work like that with this. Uh, the top button is going to bring up your menu screen. You'll use the joy stick to choose your option, and you'll click the joystick to choose. Uh, I know you use the top button to back out of uh, menus. Uh, that's pretty much it um, as far as the standard uh, controls go. Uh, when you go to catch a Pokemon, you can throw, you don't literally throw the Pokeball. There's actually a strap, and I'll show you here. Uh, it does have a strap that you put around your wrist, and there's even, uh, she's not wearing it, I don't think. It's on her, probably on her middle finger where you can't see it. Uh, but there's also a ring attached to the strap. Uh, you'll right, strap it on, you put the ring on, and you can catch the, hold the ball. So you're not really throwing the ball. 
or just mimicking the ball. You can throw it this way, you can throw it this way. Uh, if you can do curve balls, I have not been able to figure out how to do so. So those who play Pokemon Go who wanted who are used to doing curve balls, maybe that's something you can figure out how to do. I haven't been able to do it yet. Again, I'm, I haven't played the game very long. Uh, and that's your controls. Here's the problem with this. Um, there's certain options in the menus that we, uh, we don't, it's not required, but to, it is if you want to do a certain action in that menu is to hit Y. Um, well, you can't do that. Let's see, for that, you'll need a Joy-Con. Uh, so, if you're using this just to go through the game, you're not planning on navigating a whole mess of areas in the menu, just your basics, you're good to go. Use the Pokeball Plus. <coughs> but if you're looking to get in deep, then that's not going to happen. Sorry. Um, I wish I would have brought the game case down with me. The game case is actually really cool. The game case is cool because... So here's the front of the game case. When you open it up, you have your game inside. And on the inside cover is the entire map of the Kanto region and where you can find all the Pokemon. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Well, this is one game, and I know Nintendo has kind of done away with these. They have for the last couple years now since 3DS did away with the manuals. This would have been a game that would have been great for a manual because like a lot of the stuff that you do with the pokeball plus i kind of had to figure it out on my own <laughs> so it's kind of a downside so. now let's talk about your free pokemon that you get so again this doesn't tell you it tells you that you, you can get an exclusive Mew. And an exclusive because it's you can only get Mew with this unless you had Pokemon Go and um, caught him and you put him in a Pokeball and you carry him over to Let's Go. Um, and you can do that. You can take Pokemon uh, from the Canton region and put them in the ball and then put them over into Let's Go Pikachu. You can't do that vice versa. You can't go to Let's Go to Pokemon Go, but you can go Pokemon Go to Let's Go. So say you beat the game, yeah, but you haven't completed your Pokedex. You want to complete a Pokedex. Um, you can essentially, if you have pre, if you have all 151 Pokemon on your Let's Go or not, on your Pokemon Go app, um, you can just switch them over to here. They'll show up in your Pokedex, and boom. You got a full Pokedex. Uh, you, you know, I think there's a part in the game which I haven't gotten to. It's like a Poke Farm, and that's where you do it at. I think that's how it works. Like that. I haven't gotten to that point in the game yet. But let's talk about Mew. So, like I said, it doesn't really tell you um, how to do it. I had to figure it out. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go in the game, um, and you're going to connect to the internet, and it'll give you options, uh, very similar to the 3DS games as far as mystery gifts, internet gifts, and you're going to go to mystery gift, and what that mystery gift is going to do is it's going to log on to the internet, which is required to do so to, to do this, just like your standard Pokemon game on the 3DS, uh, and DS, I believe, and um, from there you will receive your Mew. And you will have me a level one Mew. Uh, and he will listen to you. Um, up until you get to level 20. And if you don't have have defeated Brock by then, he's not going to listen to you. <laughs> but right now, he's in my party. And I'm not using him. I'm leveling him up. I want him to learn new moves. Or new moves. It's early, folks. I'm bad with the puns. So, um... But that, 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 that's pretty cool. Again, could have definitely benefited from an instruction manual. Or even um, if they did a little, little piece of paper um, with a uh, CR, CR, with a CR code. Those little crazy black and white blocky things. So you can scan it and get an instruction manual. That would have been nice. So, 
Um, so there is one other thing about this game that you should know, and it's a good thing. This game is two players. Yeah. If you're doing it on the TV or you're doing it with the Switch, say, on the um, cable, you can do two players. Now, you can only do one player if it's if you're doing handheld. You can only do one player. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty damn cool. So, um, I'm really enjoying the game so far. Uh, like I said, a lot of a lot of the fans uh, are angry about the simplicity, and the fact that it's not your standard Pokemon game. Uh, but these, of course, Pokemon Stadium, uh, Pokemon Snap. These weren't your standard Pokemon games either, but they were fun. Uh, you enjoyed them. I did. Let's go, Pikachu. Fun game. And Eevee. I keep mentioning Eevee. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, uh, I'm trying to think of other things. You can dress up your Pikachu. Uh, you At the start of the game, uh, you get a, an outfit for Pikachu that matches your the outfit you're wearing. And you can put a little matching hat, a matching shirt on him. And it looks pretty cool. It looks really cute. And that's something else. I mean, these Pokemon are really, really get in your face. And this, you know... Um, and it's pretty cute. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game so far. Again, I've only played this for a couple hours, and I'm just loving it. Uh, so, uh, if you're looking for a new uh, Pokemon game on your Nintendo Switch, um, and you kind of want to get that drawback from to the Kanto region, because you're a fan of red, blue, and yellow, pick up Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, like I, or Eevee, whoever is your favorite. Um... As far as exclusive Pokemon, because I know um, like games like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or X and Y had exclusive Pokemon to the game. Um, I have to double check, but I'm not sure that's the case here. I think it honestly just depends on what Pokemon uh, you want to start with. Like, If you want to start with Pikachu, grab Pikachu. Want to start with Eevee, buy Eevee. Um, I don't know why they did that. But, uh, and again, I'll double check. I could be wrong. But to my knowledge, um, I don't think there's there's a difference. I mean, obviously there's no difference in the game. I'm not sure if one game has an exclusive over the other. Um, yeah. So, if they do, um, again, if you play Pokemon Go uh, on your phone, and you have all of the... Um, First 151 Pokemon, that's not going to be an issue because you could just trade from your phone to the game. So I'm assuming that's why they didn't do the exclusive Pokemon from one game to the other. So, But that's going to do it for me. It's uh, coming up to about a half hour. It's coming up to be 10, uh, 10 to 7. I'm hungry. I'm going to have a little snack because here in a few hours, I'm going to go get some Dunkin' Donuts. And I, don't wanna, I want to keep room for those Dunkin' Donuts. I'm, I'm getting the munchkins. Yeah, it's like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go play some Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, please, 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 if you haven't already, you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell so you know you can, you can get notifications when I go live, when I have new videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up, please. And, hey, with this video, share if you care. I am the logical one, John Wise. Good morning, and have a wonderful day.